One of the things that I think all traders need is a plan and a routine. It really, really helps you sort of identify what time to spend trading and also shortcuts your success. In this video, I wanna show you how to create a routine and a plan that works just for you, and I'm also gonna share mine with you. Now, I think the first thing to note is that if you have a plan, you are gonna be more likely to make a profit. It also helps keep you more disciplined. And I actually think, a lot of people think that you have a plan and they're quite rigid and they're quite boring, but I think it gives you more freedom, which is key because one of the reasons that people come to sports trading is they wanna make more money to spend time with their family and you know, having a plan on when to do that you know, when to actually trade really, really does help. And it also then helps you identify the times that you need to be trading and then the times that you can take time off from trading. And I think that is key. Um, so I think the first thing you need to look at is you need to look at your week, okay? So look at what your regular week looks like, okay? And write on a calendar, you could draw it out if you want or use Google or whatever, just use a spreadsheet, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and look at when you are actually able to trade. Fit that in around your life, when it's not gonna be inconvenient, you know. There's no good trying to trade the horses if you work all day and you can't get to them, or there's no good trying to trade evening events if you have to look after the children, you know, in the evenings, and the start of your trades is at kickoff. You just need to look at that, and then that's gonna help identify when you can actually trade and the sport you can trade. You know, you might then just be looking at the second half, so that's great. It's gonna really then identify what strategy you need. And if you are struggling to build a strategy, if you comment the word super trader below, I'll give you my super trader framework, which will then help you identify the strategy to use. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then you need to look at when you can actually research your trades and when can you record the data. For me, they're the big three things. You need to know when you can trade, when you can do your research, and when you can do your recording of your results and your data. Now, answer all of those, you've got yourself a plan, okay? Now, for some people, like I said, they can't spend all day, every day, doing research. So what they need to do is they need to batch it, and that's totally cool. So every two to three days, what they do is they look at the events going forward two or three days, and then they add those they add those to a sheet. So what I would recommend there is create a, spread, a spreadsheet with all of your potential trades on. Use the same one for your profit and loss one. Okay, you can just add the date, add the trades, and add the type of trade. So you're doing lay the draw, add lay the draw onto there, okay? Your stake and everything, your entry point. That, all of that information on it. Then use one of these things. So go into your notes section on your phone and just copy and paste those trades that you've added into there. But also get into the habit of adding the top level data that you found that has enabled you to pick that trade. So for example, if you are backing Spurs to score first because of the fact that Harry Kane scores first a lot of the time, the team that they're playing concedes first a lot of the time, and a few other data, uh, points of entry, so the average first goal time in those games is 23 minutes plus, that's top level data that you might wanna remember. Now you're never gonna remember that if you did that three days ago, especially with the amount of data you're gonna be looking at. So just add the key bullet points to a note on your phone. Then all you need to do is when you go to do that trade, you just open up your phone. Oh, okay, fantastic. I can see there's the key data. Okay, really, really straightforward. Then do the trades when you can. So whenever you can do the trades, do them. <clears throat> whenever you've chosen to do them. And then the next thing is to make sure you've put aside time. And this is the one that everyone skips. And I think it's criminal to actually look at the data and go through it. So you don't need to record your results straight after the trade. And this is the one that baffles some people with me. So I don't even know sometimes what's happened in the game till two or three days after, unless it was like a big game, unless it was like in the Premier League. If it's in any other country, I haven't got a clue. I was chatting to somebody at Softplay and they said, oh, did you see what happened in that bet green trade after the goal went in? No. What? What? It was crazy. No idea. Because I'd got out and I'd moved on and I'd just leave it. I don't worry about it then. I don't, I don't even know. And what I want to do is then come back and collect the data and go through the results. Now this for me does a couple of things. By not doing it straight away, there's no emotions. I don't have to look at 
trying to force the next trade or anything like that. It makes it so much easier. And I can just then get into a better rhythm. Also, that time then is solely dedicated to that activity. So there's no other distractions. There's nothing else I need to worry about. I don't have things pinging or, you know, I don't need to be anywhere else. I can focus 100% on that data and looking at it. So do the exact same. Put this on your calendar and turn off all distractions. You'll find as well that you don't actually need that long when you start going through this and you start getting good at it. So now with that, you will actually be able to build a plan that works for you. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples now. One of my members, they don't like the way that I do it. Okay, so the, and they don't want to spend every single day looking at the stats. So what they do is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, half an hour in the morning, they look through the BTC stats, they go into my software, they get the games for the next couple of days, they go through the data, they add them to the sheet, job done, move on, okay, that's it. Then once a week, they look at their results, crack on, and once a month, they look at the data to see where it's going and the trends, etc. So really, really straightforward. Mine looks like this. Every single morning, here, I get the get a cup of coffee and I start to look through the, the football stats. Sometimes it might not be coffee because if I've gone to the gym that morning, then I usually have a coffee before I go to the gym, just telling you everything about my life here. Um, so it will just be this stuff, okay? I log into BTC stats. Um, anyway, I drink coffee and water or red wine. Um, I log into the BTC stats and I start to look at the games for just that day. My sole focus is that day, okay? Then I have, I use Notion, which is a free like note-taking app. It's really, really cool. What I actually do is have my trading plans all in one section and then I press forward slash and then, then I type page and then I just put today's date. So just put the date of today. And then I start to put those top bullet pointed stats that I need to know about my trades for those trades. Then if I've got any set and forgets, because I, I do do some set and forgets, Thomas is under 1.5 lace, for example, members will know what that one is. Um, I just put them up and just leave them, okay? And then I add the trades to my calendar. So I use Google Calendar and then I also add them to a Google Sheet. Okay, that's what I do. Um, and then I just go about my day. If the trades are on then, I'll do them. If not, then I will wait until the trades are on. I usually set timers as well, um, using this to, to do trades on a weekend. So Saturday, for example, if I'm doing a split state strategy, I will just set alarms on here. Um, I'll also go into sofa score and I'll add the games. So it actually pings me when they start. Um, I just like sofa score, it works really, really well. I know some people struggle with the times of games and they say, oh, well, they're out. Just look at the kickoff time and then set an alarm for 15 minutes after if that, whatever your entry point is. So if you need to enter at 15 minutes, game kicks off at three, set an alarm to go off at quarter past three yeah it's not going to be perfect but you're going to be you're stressing about like bet fair clock being out by a minute bet 365 just literally go roughly kicked off at three you enter it at 15 minutes into the game go for it unless there's been a massive outage okay boom then every single week what i do is i add all of the results to my sheet and i just have a a bit of a, a scan over the data i've been doing this for so long now that I know what to look for and I know what's bad and what's good just naturally of my own data um, and then every single quarter I have a real deep dive so I will set some time aside on my calendar um, usually headphones on um, although I do have some pretty cool speakers now so I don't really use my headphones as much um, but I, this is always time when I know I'm not going to be disturbed um, usually when it's quiet and there's no little lady around. And then I'll just deep dive into the data. I'll look at trends. I'll look at, you know, am I maximizing this strategy? Am I getting the most from it? And that is that is simply it. So to round that up and just keep that really, really straightforward, you need three things, okay, on your calendar. You need to know when you can do your trades, when you can do your research, and when you can do your data analysis. That's it. Put those onto your calendar. Start maximizing your time and just watch, literally just watch what happens to your trading. If you just do that, if you only ever do that, 
you will become a much more profitable trader, I guarantee it. Now, regular watchers will know, gets towards the end of the video and I always give you a word to comment. Today's word is routine. So if you comment the word routine, lets me know that you've got to the end of the video. Also, I have seen a few people, um, they've commented and said, do I have to comment the word if I've commented? No, you don't. Um, one of the things we're trying to do on this channel is I want one of those. I want one of those um, silver ones behind me. You know that, like, you get to 100,000 subscribers. So more comments, more people see the video. We engage with all of the comments as well. Then, um, so that helps us create more videos. You tell us what you're struggling with, what videos you'd like us to do. Then, hopefully, more people see it, more subscribers. We are putting so much effort and energy into this YouTube channel. So thank you very much for watching this video. Remember, the word is routine.